think of that hoes at work is some of the dumbest shit you can do. And Michael Eric Dyson proved this point right here. This nigga gets on stage, talks all this nonsense, using all these words that don't mean nothing, not saying anything. What is he even famous for? He just, he's like the academic twister, you know, just always talking fast with a whole bunch of nothing, right? And so there was a House committee hearing today where he got caught being thirsty and going against everything he says. But before we get to that, what led up to this situation is a panel that was on CNN, right, where he was on this panel with this white bitch, right? So keep in mind, this the white she was on this panel with. It was going back and forth, arguing, all type of shit, okay? Been in office, only been a candidate for three. Now years. you can see she's an older. She got the wrinkles. Now as much as Eric Dyson talks about white people, apparently that's what he likes. Another pro black, loving on these white hoes when they be talking this pro black. At the end of the day, they they, they <laughs> at the end of the day, it's all bullshit. She's been weeks, vice so. president for three. And yeah, a half and Trump years. went a whole <laughs> primary season without even taking and doing a debate. So and you know, America, he, but you can't isn't stupid because the Republicans in this country but, but voted false. for him, nominated him. She didn't earn a single vote in the Republican. Got, but it's, it's, a, it's a false equivalence between what Donald Trump is doing as an autocrat. As a fascist, as a dictatorial in time, man. That's oh, just, that's, the man's that's aspirations crazy. are huge. But the point is that Donald Trump has lied so repeatedly that we normalize his mendacity. Once again, he's going back at it, back at it with this bitch. His misogyny, his hatred for the ordinary citizen who happens to think logically about these issues. Now, he's got a whole bunch of stuff from the stores up there. He doesn't refer to it. His economic policies are vapid. They are empty. He has nothing to she say. She has to no these policies people. on her website and at then, all. She's got more pronouns. Donald Trump sits there and tells lie after lie, <laughs> and he gets normalized by good people like y'all who don't call him out on his board. Kamala Harris has more pronouns on her website than she does policy. The only thing she has on- This strong face ass. I just want to hear, see them getting back, them getting to it back and forth real quick. Hold on. President, but she's <laughs> able at least to set the tone. Here's what's important. Uh, first thing, the point is the strategy is not uh, a backfiring order. Number two, in terms of polls, the polls are a statistical dead heat. You say that. If I purposely Kamala's, mispronounce your name, you, that would not be appropriate. Policies are Joe Biden's policies. She owns You're it. Normalizing that times. kind of viciousness. So now that he they getting mad, so he got mad at her for. He's getting mad at that. Keep remember this now, okay? He's getting mad at this bitch for mispronouncing Kamala's name. Bill, we, she knows Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want. I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're here we go. Here we go. You white people are disregarding our humanity. This is a disregard, disrespect, and disregard of our humanity. You're going off, talking about you know giving him the same old you know pro black BS. Me I didn't say. That, I just said you weren't racist. That is complete. No, you don't have to intend racism. No. Too. Now look, 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 look. Notice how she's looking directly at him when they're talking. He can't even look her in the face. Why is that? No, no. You are it. intending that your I your disrespect racist, of Kamala Harris is, is part and parcel of a racist disrespect. It's offensive. Congresswoman, why can't you just? Why can't you just? I'm not calling you a racist. I'm telling you what the practice is. You are. You are. Why can't you just? All right. So it's getting heated. He's pissed off at this white devil. You disrespected Kamala's name. How could you? How could you? You're disrespectful. No, what's disgusting is, is your disgusting. disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said, you know what, I didn't know, what's know her disgusting name. Disgusting to women is it. her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if, if 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women. He can, why can't he? He ain't looked at her now one time. I'm going to tell you why he ain't looked at her. This nigga looking at a fucking teleprompter. She looking directly at this nigga. I'm gonna pronounce her name however the fuck I want. You black mother. That's what she's saying. This nigga look on looking. We gonna find out in a second.
who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago. For your baby. 25 years ago. Is this, this thick enough for trans people? He, I didn't know he made the transition. I didn't know he's... Now he's for, he's for LGBTQ now? I didn't know. I, I mean, i just been seeing this talk big words since I was a kid. I became the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I so fought my way right. through it. So pronounce her name right. Let me actually get her name right. And Kamala Harris. Who is he talking to? Who the f is he talking to the table, dog? This dude has no sort of social skills. But this ain't the point, though. This is like a fucking uh, zombie, horror zombie. Oh, that's a bad shot. That's a, that be like a monster. I, maybe that's why he's not looking at it. That's an ugly, oh, horror movie. Me press play. Come on, come on. You said it when I you Nancy. Come on, come on. You're doing this on purpose, Congress. You're disrespectful. You can't expect people to respect you. If a man sponsored or walked that stage 25 years ago, she would have taken that achievement away from women. You're a white woman disrespecting a black woman. All this shit. Okay, so keep that in mind, right? That was about a month ago. Right, when Eric Dyson was on there arguing with that white bitch. Talking about white people are all bad. And this is why these pro-blacks, this is why these niggas, bro, you cannot take these niggas serious, man. Check this shit out. By Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris' name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Clinton, along with Al Sharpton, rapper Lil Jon, let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right. So she pissed off. She's still mad about that argument. She's listing off all the people that can't say Kamala's name right. Now, I don't know why she's bringing up bringing this shit up at this is a uh what is this the house oversight committee okay so this is the house oversight committee can supreme today september 19 2024 supreme court justice sonia sotomayor and this morning on morning joe joan bias called her a camel so i don't want to hear it it's fake outrage i would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson. Mm. I'm telling you, man, y'all be texting these hoes. They, they beat them screenshots. We ain't going nowhere. So after all that shit he was talking, white woman is white woman. That this is the one of Becky the whole time. Just like these other pro blacks. All projection, man. When you go against something so much, usually it means you have a hidden desire. Just put up the text and everything. You brought a print. You on the record being the Thirst McGee. You on the con <laughs> this on the congressional record being a hypocrite Thirst McGee. Yeah. You had jungle fever. You on you are now in the Congress Congressional Library nigga, forever. This record will be a. We could look up this shit forever after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says... He was asking for pictures and shit? Ooh, send me news. Come on, please. I see why. You can see that little titty right here. You see the little cleavage right here. She got a little... She got a little... Uh, she still might be... Face is old. She still look like they might have a little pretty in his neck left in them. That nigga Michael Eric Dyson is like, oh, please send me some pictures. And a high, he was like, please, if you can just send me a steal. <laughs> the nigga called, he like, send me a steal of you in a lovely lavender uh, dress that makes you look so upstandingly beautif beautif the beautification. Probably using some big words trying to game this bitch up. This bitch like, man, you're asking this bitch for pictures. And Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't want to hear it. It's fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Mm. Don't tell anybody, baby. But me and, and, and your wife, we, my, my, we look good. This is 
But see, that's what I'm saying, man. Behind closed door, these pro black motherfuckers be so fake. That's why I never, man. Whole time, dog. You just you, the black people. This we gotta help black people. We gotta whole time, dog. You would you would trade it all for a white bitch, nigga. That's really what these pro black people be wanting. They really just be crying. That's why they be so worried about white acceptance because that's what they really want. They really want to be accepted into white society as white people. White woman, white picket fence. They just they want their white neighbor Bob to say hello to them in the morning and shit. It really be that. That's what it really be. All this crying shit is about not being accepted. He really want a white bitch. And and guess what? This white bitch just pulled a Keisha too. She exposing this nigga. <laughs> she exposing this nigga. She pulled a Keisha. <laughs> she pulled a Keisha. Y'all thought only black people. No, nah, she exposing this. Shh, don't tell anybody. We look good together. And sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says order. I'm gorgeous and all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the one or the other. Uh, on to the issue at hand. I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for this. It was ready to. Uh, we look good together, risking his whole reputation and. and uh brand and all type of shit. You see, I clear what he want. All right. So it's just like, man, I the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Michael Eric Dyson, pro black professor. Let me see. Is he is he? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he? Uh oh. He ain't married, is he? Uh oh. Is he finna get his ass beat? Is he about to get his ass beat? Is is he about to get his ass beat with a broomstick? Let me see. It says Mary Marsha Luis. Mary 1992. Uh oh. Marsha Luis about to fucking beat his ass with a fucking uh What's that shit they be flattening the bread out with in the cartoons? That wooden thing? <laughs> they be rolling the bread. <laughs> about to throw some boiling water on that nigga. You got caught. Marshall Louise about to fuck you up. Goof. You got caught being thirsty in front of everybody. Hold on. Does he, let me see. I don't know. Does he have a... Is he married? Yep, Marsha Marsha Dyson. Make sure. Marsha L. Dyson. Oh, that's that's his wife. That looks like a black woman. Oh, she got an Instagram. Oh, he got the same. Oh, oh, it's private. Social activist. Impact. Oh, that's his wife. Still got the same last name. Oh, he finna get his. Oh, we, the divorce coming soon. Oh shit, y'all know what time it. He going to another Judge Mathis. <laughs> Michael Eric Dyson about to be the next Judge Mathis. Marsha Dyson, this nigga basically he married. You married niggas trying to exercise options. You dumb married. Niggas. Oh, she finna. He he getting divorced soon. Sitting in kissy emojis to this white. Talking about we look good together? Oh, he done. He is cooked. He is cooked. Oh, shit. She said, uh, she said, we look good together. Damn. Yeah, that nigga Michael Eric Dyson, that nigga cooked, bro. That nigga is fucking cooked. So, yeah, don't be surprised if, uh, uh, don't be surprised if this nigga, uh, <laughs> Be getting divorced soon. All right, don't be surprised if she getting di divorced soon. All right, don't be surprised if this Eric Dyson is gonna get divorced soon. You know. <laughs>